<laughs> I think you had a question for Mr. Johnson. Yeah, I was just asking, um, you know, where, where did you see that we were uh, dropping the ball and then we're going to go back, uh, come over to the reunification process because and as a CASA uh, advocate, I saw a lot of uh, deprivation cases and then uh, that had a lot to do with education and mm -hmm. you know then of course that leads to the government getting involved with the families and then of course it goes back to sometimes teen pregnancy and yes. all of that other stuff so we want to kind of bring it full circle about how the government is involved and how you know we can better educate our children uh, so that we can really catch up and surpass I do believe we can do that, you know, I really do. So what, what do you have to say well, about that? Well, I believe that it's a systemic problem. Mm -hmm. And when I say systemic, I mean generational. <laughs> I believe that in minority communities, that a lot of the behaviors that we're seeing distributed, in particularly in our youth, is as a result of generational curses that have been passed down and then on the other side I do believe that a lot of our people do not they're not aware of all of these assistance and programs right. that are available to them so I believe that from the time that your child enters into pre-k mm -hmm. that it starts th there right. because at the end of the day everything grows from a seed form so right. we have to start literally in the womb. I remember that a lot of my strengths educationally came from my mother literally while I was in her womb reading to me. Right. So when I got to pre-K, I had a strong affinity to writing and reading and uh, those skills. Right. I believe also that in our minority communities that we need more scientists, we need more mathematicians. And when you look at students Students from other countries like China, mm -hmm. the Philippines, Africa, you see that these students are way more advanced because in their homes, they are like, it's, there, it's drilled into them that they need to be successful. Right. Right. And here in America, unfortunately, we are so lazy. Wow. I have wow. to say that. That's okay. We are, we are so lazy and we're not, it's not drilled in us at a young age that these are things that we need to be serious about. We've got children that are learning how to twerk, but they're not learning about mathematics. They're not like learning that. about physics. Mm -hmm. They're not learning about the things that are going to make us competitive citizens right. for whatever field that we choose to go into. So I really believe that it starts in the home with the parents. Uh, you can send your children to school for eight hours in a day. That's right. But at home, they've got to have a foundation base. And I see where uh, parents that have an education mm -hmm. tend to really set their children up for success right. in the future. Right. So education is the pillar. Mm -hmm. It is the building block of our communities. And not only that, I believe that education naturally, but education spiritually, spiritually. Mm -hmm. is also important. That's right. Because our children, they're not just dealing with natural deficits, but they're dealing with spiritual deficits. Right. And this is where the church right. has to play a more active role. Right. We've got churches on every corner. Mm -hmm. I think in one of the other broadcasts, someone said that we've got churches on every corner. But what is the church doing as in creating programs and resources that are not just spiritual, but also natural, like right. tutoring right. services, um, just getting with our children that have behavioral problems, right. who may need counseling services. Those things are very important to our community it takes it's a village extremely important and with that being said we're going to put it on pause we're going to take our first break we are talking about today the government and education and how it impacts the family you are watching our look what's the name of our show today government Education? <laughs> no. In the home. And this with the is family. With the family, that's right. Family, the Future of Our Families Summit 2023. My host, uh, Quentin T. Howell, from, S from Savannah State <laughs> University. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. 
Wow. Doc Jones, as a Democrat, I love your outfit. Oh, that thank you. I'm telling you, <laughs> tell you. Hillary Clinton thank had you. that to the one. There you go. Help. <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> what? Oh, let's see. All right, everybody and Good. the attorney. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about um, right. Hank Hogan here. I don't see him. Oh, right here. That was good. Come on, Puggy. Right you. back at you. Appreciate you. I wanted to add some more to that. Oh, it is. And then we'll go into. Uh, uh, I know. I know. <laughs> 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 